Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick overview on how to install a 5015 blower fan uh, for the Sprite extruder. The, the quick thing I want to let you guys know of is the way the, the uh, connections are oriented. So if you notice on fan 1, this is for your uh, heatsink. Fan 2 is your uh, parts cooling fan. But in most connectors, depending on if you buy the cable pre-built, such as this case, um, the way the cable goes in is going to be in this direction uh, rather than the traditional um, or what I think is traditional which is this way which is the little pin that you have there facing upwards so they're, they're orientated this way the only thing here is that if you notice on the original connection it's uh, negative and, and positive and then on this normal connector it's positive and negative so the connections are inverted, which means that if you bought these pre-built cables, you will need to swap out the connection that goes to your fan, kind of like this. Okay, so in this case, this would be positive and this would be negative, but because of the way it's oriented to the breakout board, I had to swap these connections out. Otherwise, your fan's not going to turn in and uh, you might run the risk of shorting something. Now... This is the fan I currently have, which is a very generic fan. I think it's just a hydraulic or something like that. This one is going to be a Winston brushless DC fan with a dual ball bearing. Um, it feels and looks a little bit nicer. It's built um, just a bit nicer from what I'm able to tell here. So because I already have the cable set up, this cable it was just... Two of these connectors soldered together. If you build your own cable, you can make it the size you need it to, which um, the size for this, it's going to be, so it's going to be just around 160 uh, uh, millimeters. It's about 16, probably 18 centimeters would be ideal. So you have enough cable uh, just in case. But this uh, 16 centimeters seems to be just good enough just for it to be able to reach here so you don't have a lot of cable sagging everywhere. So, and in this example, um, based on the JST connectors, this is a JST 2.5, and the connector you need is a 1.25. So, um, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to unsolder this cable so we can solder one of these cables in its place. So, we're going to remove the sticker. Okay, so going back to what I was saying, so this fan is already wired properly, but if you notice, uh, we have black and red, and in this one we have red and black. So I'm going to use the same orientation since I already tested and that works. You will need a soldering iron. Wait for that to heat up here. So it's hot enough now. Okay, so that's how you remove it. Now, if you notice these blobs here, if you notice you don't have enough solder to secure the next connection with the new wire or the new cables, you will have to solder on a little bit of, uh, a little bit of solder to get some thicker um, blobs on there. Now, since I already have a cable pretty much pre-built, the shrink tube and everything, I'm gonna reuse the same cable. I don't want to have to solder them back again, so. Okay, and just verify the connection is clear. Noticing the black one has one um, couple of threads hanging out there. So I'm going to remove this and resolder it again.
Okay, so the connection seems uh, secure now. Now, one thing I do want to do is I kind of like running the cables this way instead of using this clip right there so it doesn't kind of like uh, poke out the other end while it's on the printer itself. And then what I like to do is grab some of this tape. This tape actually came with the printer. This was some of the tape they used to uh, secure the cables. And I've just been kind of reusing this. But uh, that's really all there is to it. Uh, the only thing that we have to do is get this installed onto the extruder. I'll show you right now. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is connect the cable. Okay. And I'm going to route the cable under here right through the probe and just like that I struggle with this a bit all right, so I got it in. For some reason, this was a pretty tight fit. Not really sure, but we're going to install the screws on now, screw it in place. So I'm kind of holding the nut with my middle finger while twisting these. And uh, we're going to do the same thing for the bottom one. Okay, so now that I have the two nuts and screws, I normally just hand type these while holding on to the nut on the other side. Okay. And uh, there we go. So, this is how your cabling should look like, your, your wiring. All right, and that's how you... Um, uh, wire up one of these 5015 blower fans with a JST 1.25 millimeter connector. We're going to put this on the printer and we're going to make sure everything works. Now, every time you, I just want to make you guys aware that every time you remove your extruder, please redo your Z offset. It's highly mandatory that you redo it every time you take up your extruder, even if you did not remove the BL touch, you still have to do the Z offset. Because um, it's going to be very rare that it's still the same offset after you install it. So just be aware of that. So there's the fan, it's working. Yeah, that's a lot of air. 
that's quite a bit more than what I was getting with uh, these ones. Here's the brand of it. They're not bad. They're pretty good still. Um, it's maybe just like, I would say maybe like 20% more airflow, maybe at the most. Well, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, don't ask me for soldering tips. I barely know how to solder myself, but yeah, uh, hopefully you learned something from this one. So, uh, yeah, peace out.